Hey everyone, welcome back, Pop Daddy here, and today I'm well excited to bring you the Pop In It Box, the new Pop In The Box exclusive, Ben and Paul. I'm really excited about this one, this guy looks awesome. I really like the, the fact that he's got, I think, six arms in this one, he's got guns, he's got swords. Really like the colour, so it's more Venom uh, than uh, Deadpool colours, of, well obviously it's just black and white this one. Uh, I've got the original, I'll bring it in, the original Deadpool Venom. And as you can see, half and half, uh, the sticker is way better. If you're a sticker fan, you're going to love this sticker way more than you are uh, the original one. But yeah, so that's the original one. I can see it's just a sword on one side of Deadpool. And then you've got the Venom on the other side. Let's get that out of the way. But yeah, this one is all Venom by looks of it. But you've got the inspired, uh, you've got the swords on there, the guns. Uh, yeah, so yeah, really looking forward to seeing what this guy looks like. Uh, as soon as I take this out of the box, done the review, it's going to go straight back in the box and it's going to sit with the other pop in the box. But yeah, this guy looks awesome. Either way, I think this, guy, uh, this guy's going to look great. Uh, so there's the side view. You can see him on there. You've got some uh, uh, Marvel comic art in the background. And then on the back, you've got the uh, all the Venoms, Carnage and Anti-Venom. Uh, I really would like to pick up this guy, but he's it's not expensive, expensive. It's like, I don't know, about 30, 40, 50 quid, something like that, but that is expensive for a pop. But obviously, because he's uh, old in the original one, you've got Carnage and Anti Venom. I think Carnage is a bit hard to get hold of, and Anti Venom's a bit easier to get hold of. But I think I'm going to wait for the new Venom film to come out and then decide what I'm going to do about picking up some pops for that. Uh, but yeah, in the background, you've got the comic book art as well. And then there's that side. Okay, so let's get him out and see what he looks like. So I think don't think this guy is particularly hard to get hold of. I think they've made more of this one than they did the original Pop in the Box Deadpool Venom. So I'm pretty sure if you go on their website, you can still, because I pre-ordered this when it first got announced, but I'm pretty sure you can still be able to pick this guy up. Okay, will he stand? Yep, he stands okay. I'll just bring that down a bit. Okay, so yeah, so Deadpool, Venom Paul, whatever you want to call him. So, yeah, obviously just a black and white paint job. Quite nice, big eyes. Looks a bit clownish to me, that does. But, uh, yeah, but at least it's a nice paint job. There's no bleed outs for the big eye th things there. Obviously nothing on the back. Bring that round. And then bring him in a bit. And then onto the body. So I've noticed on mine, I've got this, I don't know, they just... When they painted it, it must have, I don't know, fingerprint on it or something that's pulled off the white paint so you can see some speckling going on there, which is a bit of a shame, but I'm going to be sticking it back in the box so it's not going to notice too much. I really like these swords. So you can see you've got the one with the pink uh, on it there. Now I'm just getting into like comic books and reading and graphic novels and stuff like that, so I'm going to pick up some uh, Deadpool Venom stuff as well. So I'm really interested to see the storylines for that. But yeah, it'd be cool if there's this guy in there. And you've got the arms. So you've got the two normal arms. Got the one sticking out there and then the other one holding the sword there. And then let's get round onto the back. And then you've got an additional four at the back. A bit hard to see with the black, but you've got obviously the top one, which is holding that sword. So that's the venom part. And then you've got the other one holding the gun, which looks really nice. Bit of detail on there on the magazine and on the gun itself, nice bit of detail. And then you've got the other side. So this bottom arm just isn't doing anything, it's just there. Actually, both of them aren't doing anything. That's a shame. Now, I would have put a gun, I think, in that top arm there, so it would have been sticking out about here. That would have been really nice. It'd be quite a cool thing to do. But yeah, no, they didn't do that. But anyway, yeah, so they can see the two venom arms on the back there. Other than the paint job's okay. Uh let's look at this sword. I like the little bit of detailing on the handle. As you can see, those little detail bits there. That looks good. And I love, yeah, I really like this translucent pink on the gun there. And it's good to see there's no uh, bleed out around there on the, I forgot what it's called, the guard on the seal there. So that's good. And you've got a nice little uh, Deadpool logo in the middle. So, yeah, overall, really happy with this pop. It's a lot. Is that, I think, mm, think I prefer this one a little bit more than the original. But my big gripe with the original one is the colour. On my red is really muted. It's not a really vibrant red, which is a bit of a shame, which I quite like the original one like that. But yeah, I really like the pink swords and then just the black and white for this one. So yes, that's Venom Paul, uh, the Pop in the Box exclusive, the new one.
yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure you can probably still pick this up. I think it's about 12, 13, 14 quid, something like that. It might be a couple bit more after shipping, but yeah, so that's Vernon Paul exclusive. Really, really like it. So, okay, if you like the video, please give it a, th a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Okay, guys, bye.